The APEC terminal was a hub of activity this morning as the PNG Defence Force and other security forces, along with PNG and Australian Foreign Affairs officials, went through their final phases in anticipation of the arrival of the Australian Prime Minister. One of the first to arrive was Deputy Prime Minister John Russell, along with Foreign Affairs Minister Justin Chichenko and Acting Governor for NCD, Dadi Toka Jr. At around half past nine this morning, the Australian Prime Minister touched down aboard an Australian Royal Air Force GTR. Albanese stepping off the plane at 10 a.m. to be officially welcomed by a 19-gun salute, led by the Deputy Prime Minister John Rosso, along with the Australian Ambassador to PNG, His Excellency John Phipps, were on hand to receive him as he disembarked. Following an inspection of the Guard of Honor, Prime Minister Albanese was whisked away to Government House. At Government House, Grand Chief Sir Bob Dudai, Governor-General of Papua New Guinea, officially welcomed the Prime Minister of Australia, Anthony Albanese, into the country. Speaking with the Governor-General, Prime Minister Albanese expressed his gratitude for the warm welcome reception he received on his arrival. He informed the Governor-General that his visit to PNG was to build on the existing close relations shared between Australia and PNG and to lay the groundwork for closer ties between the two countries. From the State House, the Australian Prime Minister's motorcade arrived here at the National Parliament at 11 a.m. Port Moresby has been the host venue for foreign dignitaries. Four years ago, the former Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison visited the country to attend APEC. And of course, last year, the Chinese Foreign Affairs Minister was here in June. The difference with this visit by the Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is his historic address on the floor of the National Parliament to our local national leaders. Inside Parliament House, Albanese delivered his historic speech focusing in on the bond between equals. Our friendship is deeper than trade and our partnership and cooperation and engagement should reach beyond it. Infrastructure is a long-standing policy passion of mine. And I'm proud that Australia is working with PNG to deliver an ambitious program of nation-building projects. Upon completion of his speech, Prime Minister Albanese was whisked away to the APEC House for bilateral talks. Rocky Iso, National, MTV News.